Namaste, Coven. Welcome back to the mat and welcome to this brand new flow. So in today's practice, we're going to spend 30 minutes really taking care of the body, slowing down that mind and really encouraging a beautiful deep sleep tonight. So for today's practice, we're going to take things slow. We're going to come into some quite intense stretches. So you're going to need a few props recommended maybe one or two blocks books can work too a bolster or a pillow or a rolled up blanket anything at all grab yourself anything to make your practice a little bit more relaxing some candles some tea anything at all i do have a recommended playlist just in the description box below on my spotify so you can find that here and listen to it while we take today's practice so get yourself set up and then when you're ready i will meet you here darling so we can flow to encourage a deep sleep Okay, so to begin today's practice straight away, you're just gonna move that bolster to one side for now. Find your blocks, bring them about halfway up your mat and roll all the way back into the earth. Hugging one knee, hugging another close. You're gonna take some gentle rocks from side to side, so beginning to massage the base of the spine into the mat. Beginning now to slow the breath. If there are any distractions around you, that's okay. Just aiming now not to let our mind run away with these distractions, but acknowledge them before bringing it back to your breath, feeling every inhale and every exhale. And we're gonna move straight away into our first deep stretch by allowing the feet to come to the mat, find our blocks, and we're gonna to move to our Baddha so our butterfly legs. Walking the feet a little bit closer in towards the hip bones, we're gonna bring the bottom of the feet together and allow the knees to fall open wide, propping these blocks up on the side like so, to support the knees here before we allow the arms to float down by our side. Now choosing the energy that you need for your deep sleep practice this evening. If you're in need of a little bit of healing, then you're gonna keep those palms flipped up towards the moon, starting to draw in this beautiful energy. Or if you're in need of rebalancing body, soul and breath, then flip those palms down into the earth beneath you, starting to connect with the gorgeous rooting of the world. Before all together, we take a deep inhale through the nose. And a slow exhale all the way out. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Final time, we inhale. And exhale. Before we resume our normal breath, breathing in through the nose, breathing out. Tuning in to any music that you have playing. Tuning in to the feeling of the mat beneath you. And giving yourself permission now to relax. let go to find stillness.
And if you're looking for a little soft hip opener this evening, then I invite you to keep the blocks where they are. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, maybe you flip them flat down or even move them away altogether. Allow yourself to relax here for one more minute. Recognizing how those exhales have become naturally longer than your inhales. Five more breaths. Before all together we inhale and we exhale. Moving slowly, we're going to bring the knees to touch, moving one block to the side, moving another. We're going to stretch out those legs. Stretch those arms up and overhead. Pulling the belly button in and up those ribs here, taking a little wiggle of the fingers, of the toes. Before we bend the knees and gently allow ourselves to roll all the way over to one side of our mat and gently lift ourselves in to a tabletop position. And moving nice and slowly, toes untucked, we're going to inhale to drop that chest. Exhale to curve. Moving as slowly as you can. Finding a little bit of fluidity in your transition from cat to cow. Before you gently bring yourself into a tabletop position, find your bolster, find any pillows. And from here, we're gonna open up the spine by coming into a twist. So sending those knees over to the right hand side, you're gonna pull the block, you're gonna pull that bolster all the way into the top of the hip. And from here, we're gonna slide that top leg back. So the left foot sits on top of this right knee here. Inhaling to find our length. On your exhale, you're gonna relax the body all the way down to that pillow. That prop supports the neck and the head and the chest. And we come into a gentle restorative twist. So the longer we stay here, the more the body will relax, aiming for one minute on either side.
keep in your mind on the mat. Ten more breaths. For all together, we inhale and we exhale. On your next breath, slide the hand to the mat, lift the body all the way up. And from here, we're going to start to pivot that chest over to the legs, extending the right leg, flexing the foot. Right hand slides down, right leg, and left arm floats up and overhead. Beautiful. Before we roll all the way back up, bend both knees, and we're going to switch this twist now. So allow the knees to fall over to the left hand side. This right leg pulls all the way behind you, so the right foot is sitting just on top of that left knee. Slide the bolster to the hips as we inhale. On your exhale, take your twist, gazing over to the right hand side, so the opposite direction of those knees. One minute here. Five more breaths. We inhale and we exhale. On your next breath, slide the hand to the mat. Lift the body off the bolster and taking that single leg stretch once more, we're going to extend the left leg, flexing the foot, left hand finds 
the foot, the ankle, the calf, and take that side body stretch. Beautiful, before we roll the body all the way up and gently find your way into a tabletop position. Just briefly coming in to a child's pose here. We're gonna bring the big toes, touch, take the knees wide. Now option to use the bolster for your child's pose, option to come to lie all the way flat down. It's completely up to you, but keep those hips pressed towards the heels. As we just give ourselves 10 breaths in child's pose, just to relax the spine after that deep twist before we find our legs, before we find our candle pose. When you're ready, we press the hand to the mat, roll the body from your child's pose, and we're going to swing the legs all the way forwards. So two ways you can do it, one is to use the bolster or the pillow to support you by simply rolling all the way back and sending the legs to the sky, prop supports the hips, or if you have a wall nearby, then you're simply going to slide your bottom as close as we can get to the wall and bring the legs all the way up. You can place a pillow, you can place a blanket underneath the head here, but bring the arms into a T-shape and just relax all the way into the mat. Again, aiming to stay here for a couple of minutes, feeling that tingling sensation in the toes. Really resetting the system here. Tuning in to the music, into your breath, the sensations of the body. Ten more breaths.
want to move out of this pose, we're going to move slowly by bending the knees to the chest and then allowing the body to roll to one side of your mat and gently moving back onto the mat here you're going to find the bolster find any pillows you'd like to work with as you move into the final and most important pose of all our shavasana taking the bolster underneath the knees pillow underneath the head we're going to relax all the way down into the mat taking any final stretches wiggles that you need before we relax the body all the way down and close the eyes making those exhales longer than your inhales feeling the body sink deeper and deeper as you tiptoe closer to the edge of being awake and falling asleep As you begin to turn off the muscles, turning off the body from movement. Starting with the toes, the feet. The ankles, the knees moving all the way past the thighs to the hips, feeling the hips heavy and relaxed into the earth beneath you, the spine, the belly. the lungs, the shoulders, moving down the arms, past the soft skin on the inside of the elbows, all the way down to the inner wrist, the palm of the hand, the fingers curled in relaxation, Get the back of the hand resting against the floor. Moving towards the neck, the chin, your lips. the tongue resting softly in the mouth. The air you're breathing in through the nose, the cheeks eyes are closed, eyelashes resting against those cheeks. The eyebrows, 
the space between the eyebrows relaxed. All the way to the forehead, the scalp, and to the ends of your hair. Feeling a complete sense of serenity washing over you. Acknowledging how easy it would be to fall asleep. Understanding how easy it would be to wake yourself back up. I'm going to leave you here, my loves, to drift off into sleep or to maybe just enjoying the peace of living in the present moment. But know that I'm sending so much love, so much healing and so much magic from my mat to yours. Wishing you a beautiful, and peaceful sleep. And I hope to see you again soon. Blessed be.